I'm Laura Ellen Anderson and I'm the author and the illustrator of Amelia Fang and the Barbaric Ball and Amelia Fang and the Unicorn Lords. To celebrate the publication of Amelia Fang and the Unicorn Lords, I'm going to show you how to draw a special unicorn yourself. The second Amelia Fang book is all about unicorns and the creatures of the dark in Amelia's world are terrified of the creatures of the light such as unicorns and fairies and angel kittens. We'll start with the unicorn's eyes and we're going to be drawing a happy unicorn. Horses are very hard to draw so what I do when I'm drawing the unicorn which is a glorified magical horse um, is I, I stylize it a lot, so it doesn't matter if it's not completely correct. So, a happy face. And it's very important to add a beautiful mane. It might be nice to add a bit of colour to the mane, so in keeping with book two, I'm going to give our unicorn a purple mane. Now you can do what you want with your unicorn's mane. If you want to add some decoration to the mane with the horn, you can add some flowers, some stars, or even mix it up a bit and add some spiders. Amelia is full of surprises. So do not worry, horses have a million elbows you can make this simple as you like. So I'm just going to give our unicorn some curved legs like so. And then the main body. So again, don't worry about the Brazilian elbows. Just a few curves like that just to get the idea. It's called artistic license. Now it might be worth thinking about when you're designing your fabulous unicorn, giving your unicorn a name. And I had a lot of fun in book two giving all of my characters names and I like to use alliteration. So I tend to go for quite normal names for their first name, but then I have a lot of fun coming up with their crazy surname. So one of the characters in Amelia book two is called Flavia and she's a unicorn. She's a lovely unicorn and her surname is Flitterberg. Flavia Flitterberg and her brother is called Fabio Flitterberg. My name is Laura. Uh, I could be Laura Lollipopin. What would your unicorn name be? You could even draw your unicorn flying if you wish. And who says they can't fly? You could have rainbows coming out of their bottoms. You could surround them with stars, glitter. You could have lots and lots of fun. You could even put real glitter onto your unicorn picture. Go crazy, have fun with it. And that is how to draw a magical, fabulous unicorn. I hope that you enjoyed drawing your very own unicorn today. Please do send your unicorn creations to me via Twitter. Get your mum and dad to send them because I would love to see them and so would my fellow unicorn.